Are you lucky enough to have a sister? Me? Wasn't born with any, but I sure did marry into a family and got some good ones. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. Today's card project is all about celebrating your sister. Whether it's your actual sister, your sister-in-law, your sister from another mister, the stamp set I'm using today is all about celebrating sisterhood. To see that card project, stick around. It's coming up next. Here's a look at the products I'll be using to create today's card. And I have a new stamp set that I designed called Sisters Forever. Now I personally do not have a sister, but I have fantastic sisters-in-law and I have friends that feel like sisters from another mister. Ba bum bum. Okay, so we have Love You Sister, Sisters Know All the Secrets and Still Love You. Sisters by Law, Friends by Choice. That was really inspired by my sisters-in-law. Thanks, Sis, I Won the Sister Lottery, Sisters Forever, Lucky to Have a Sister Like You, Best Sister Ever, Just a General Sister, with little sub-greetings, and again, the sisters from another mister. There are coordinating dies available to cut most of these out, and that is a look at the set. So I will be choosing, I probably gonna either use Sisters from Another Mister or this one here, because I love both of those greetings. Then I'm going to create a pretty little background with this Simon Says Stamp Chunky Knit Stencil, just a nice grounding for my greeting. And I've just got blush, guava, and peachy ink pads that I'm going to use to do my blending. So let me get set up for ink blending. Got a little scrap of cardstock here. This used to be a note card that I actually ended up cutting down and <laughs> putting it in my scrap bin. So I'm gonna do my ink blending on top of this. Now I use some Tim Holtz Grip Media Mat underneath my slippery things because I work on the glass surface and it is not as grippy with things like this. And I like these things to stay in place. So I'm going to be trimming this down eventually. I know that. So I'm putting it here on the low tack surface of my Bruce Monroe and Simon Says Stamp Mat. And then I'll take the Chunky Knit Stencil and just position this right about like that. I'm not going to be doing the whole thing. So I'm just going to press this down so that it kind of holds in place on the stencil mat. Now, if I want to be really, no, I don't, I don't think I need to tape it into place, but I'm just going to lightly tack it right there. All right, let me grab my brush and to prep my brush for this project. Let's see there. All I'm going to do is just rub it over a paper towel. This is basically how I clean my brushes. These are the Simon Says Stamp blending brushes and I keep them mostly for my Simon inks and other dye inks. So that's ready to go. I know I don't really wash them. Washing, washing, not a thing. All right, let's start out with blush. So here's our first color. And actually, again, my mat, things will slide. So I like to put my ink stand right here. Let's get that up a bit so that it's on my grip mat and doesn't have anywhere to go. There we go. Now I'm gonna tap a little off, yeah, it looks pretty good. And I'm lightly going to start right about here. I just wanna have a pretty random blend with this pattern, that's all. It's gonna be a little abstract. I'm going very light here at the top and I'm going to kind of create a bit of a grounding. So that's it for that color. In fact, I didn't even need to tap that off. So I'm gonna wipe that away and grab my next color. We're gonna move on to the guava. I'm going to get the brush that I use pinks with. And I will tap a little. I just don't like to bring in a hot brush. <laughs> what I mean by a hot brush is just with so much color that you're coming in with all that heat, right? All that color heat. And we're just, we're just bringing that guava, working in our rainbow order. And again, keeping it very soft on the edges. Like that. Moving in to the last color, and that is peachy. I guess I could wipe that there. And again, don't want to be too hot. We're going to start on top of the guava and just blend. 
lightly. And again, I'm kind of angling it here a little, so we're kind of going like that, just a little. And I change directions when I'm blending sometimes, so this will be just lovely. Okay, like that. But again, if you want to go back over with whatever is on the brushes, you can. All right, and that is all we're going to do. So let's take a look and see what it looks like. I'll lift this up and just sort of peel that back and look at that pretty little grounded blend. Isn't that sweet? I love how that looks. All right, I'll get this stuff put away and we'll start with some stamping. I've pulled out a piece of doll pink cardstock because I think that would be really nice for a greeting. And here's where I'm just going to take a look and say, you know, is Sisters from Another Mister too big for that space? Because it is going to cover up most of what I did. So maybe, maybe I'm going to change my mind and go with a smaller greeting because I don't want to lose all that precious detail, right? So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go with sisters know all the secrets and still love you. Okay. I'm just going to pop this right up about there and we'll go ahead and pick this up. This is with my Misty, my mini Misty. Get that in here and I will just rub my hand over this a bit to prime it. If you have the time, do the prime. Yeah, you know what I mean? All right, we're getting you in there. There we go. All right, I have my anti-static powder and I will pop that over. Just sort of sweep it a bit across the surface just to get rid of the static on the paper so that when I stamp with my clear embossing ink, the powder, embossing powder, is only gonna stick where I stamp. So I'm inking this up really well. I love doing it on darker paper too because it makes it easier to see that you're getting a great impression. So let that transfer. Just got my little stampin' bug here, my little pressure tool. Well, that looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna hit it one more time. Again, you got the misty tool. You can stamp in the same place more than once. You know what I like to say? Now do it. <laughs> okay. All right. Transfer there. Now let me grab my paper. Got my little paper catch for my embossing powder. And we'll just open this up. That greeting looks great. I guess I could wipe that off really quickly with my little stamp chamois. Let's take this out. Set this aside. I think I'm actually gonna cut this paper because then I can stick my scrap right back into Let's get that right there. Right back into a little scrap bin and that won't get warped. All right, and now let's add our powder. This is the fine detail white from Simon Says Snap. That's it for a second. I love my little cleaner brush. See how nice that is when all the other powder just falls away. Oh, I've got something dark in there. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure it will be fine. Again, light tap, and there is not a speck of powder out of place. Oh, that looks good. All right, nothing to brush away, so I'll funnel this back in, and I'll get my heat tool warmed up, and we'll melt the powder. Missed one little spot. There we go. And there is the greeting for my card. Let me get the coordinating dies so we can cut this out. All right, I've got the coordinating die taped into place. So I will run this through my Gemini Junior. see our little greeting cut out 
and ready for the card. I'm going to cut this panel down a little bit from my card project and I will just tape that. I want to have the little bit of the pattern at the top and the bottom so I'll tape this into place and then I will quickly cut that panel out as well. I'm going to take a little bit of foam tape and just pop this on the back. There's probably enough like that just to have my little my little bit of a pop-up because I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the subgreeting directly onto the note card or this panel because I feel like I just think that would be very cute. Let me see here because you can kind of visualize here. Sisters know all the secrets and still love you. I want to get that right on the panel. So let me grab my Misty again. All right. Now I'm gonna pick this up and just double check that it is straight if it is not oh that looks pretty good you can see on your misty although i'm a little bit off so i think what i will do <laughs> i'm gonna try to do the little move it on the door thing which for me sometimes works but doesn't always work uh, let me get out a tool that i literally just got hold that thought i just got these and i think it is time it is time to pull out the small one Oh yes, this is gonna help me. This is gonna help me so much more. Okay, so again, sometimes I think, you know, are you being a little too fussy doing all these things? No, no, you know what? I'm just gonna hold that in place. I like things to be lined up, so I think it's perfectly fine. And again, we're gonna, we're gonna have that there to bring something in, right? And then you say, all right, I know that's roughly gonna be there. And now that I have this little misty mat, all I have to do is make sure that I line up my little greeting on the mat. Okay, so much better. I can even see that that is on the line. And if I wanted to, also, here's the beautiful thing. I think I can do this. I think I could do a test inking on here and wipe it away. Let's try it. Okay, let's just see what it looks like. And then I can wipe it away. You know what? That looks great. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this away. <gasps> it does work, oh my gosh. Okay, don't know why I waited so long, but we're good to go. And now I'm actually gonna wipe this off again because I hadn't even primed this and I wanna make sure it's dry, All right, very dry. I'm even gonna take my little scrap piece of paper here that I cut my greeting out of and just Make sure there's no water so you can actually see there's a tiny bit there. But now we're in place and we can go ahead and stamp. Now I'm gonna use Versafine Claire. This is a pigment ink, but it's so dark and inky and that's exactly what I want for this. Now I'm not gonna press too hard. I'm just gonna give it that like that. You know what, that is actually pretty good. Maybe I could put a little more in the center. Yeah, I think that's great. Stamping right on here. A little bit more and drop. There we go. Now I'm gonna have to let that dry just for a second because the pigment does take a minute. So while that's drying, I'll get my note card ready to go. I had a change of heart and I thought I actually like this better with black. I don't do a lot of just white embossed black greetings, but I actually think I think that's better. I really like that. So now all I have to do is figure out my note card and let me, let me think about that. I actually think cotton candy would be great. I love pink and black. And because the inks just dried back so nicely and softly, that's why I'm doing this. So let me grab my score buddy. This is a piece of 11 inches by four and a quarter. And we're gonna score this right at five and a half for a top folding card that will be a standard USA2. Hold that down and All right, I've got foam tape on the back of my blended panel. We'll just pop this right down on the note card with a nice equal margin on all sides. Take the foam tape off here and I've got my reverse tweezers but I'm gonna put a little bit of liquid glue on here just to give this a little float time so this little stenciled background this would be 
such an easy way to add any kind of greeting, right? You could put anything you wanted on here. I just really like the sisters know all the secrets. Again, I'm trying to make sure it's the same from side to side, right over, and still love you. Like that. Cute. All right. Now, let me, I could have put some foam under there too, but I think, I think that is going to be just fine, although it does look a little warped, so maybe I will squeeze just a tiny, tiny piece underneath to give that a little lift there. There we go. All right, let's add something shiny. I'm kind of into pearls right now, and I love these silver foil pearls. So just got five here, creating that little connection that goes down, and I'm going to use my new Simon Says Stamp wax pickup tool, and I'm just going to add these onto the card. There we go. Boop. Slide that out of the way. Okay. Boop. Right there. And that should be enough glue to hold them. Kind of, I kind of swallowed that boop. Here we go. Kind of boop. And move that one right about there. And boop. And that's my finished card project. I think sometimes when you're working on something, don't be afraid to just say, if you don't love that, and I just, there, it just was a little off. It was a little off and sometimes, if you're gonna go for big contrast, look at how look at how striking that is. Plus, you could pop this into a black envelope, which would be kind of cool. But I really like how that turned out with our little with our little greeting. You have lots of room on the inside to write out all your secrets. Thanks so much for watching today. You can find links to all of the products I used for today's card project in the YouTube description box. If you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you, so hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next video I share. Here are a few more card projects you might want to check out featuring some fun products from my CZ Design Collection.